Good morning, you guys. Grayson and I just pulled up to his dentist appointment to have his tongue tie checked and to see if we need to get it lasered or not. My dentist referred this pediatric dentist to us who is certified in it, so I'm interested to see what she has to say and to see if it is bad enough to get lasered or not. So let's head inside and see what they say. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Okay, we just got out of his appointment and come to find out he has a really bad tongue tie and a lip tie. So his pediatrician told me they, that he had a lip tie. It's so hot in here. Um, but he didn't tell me that, or no, he told me he had a tongue tie, but he did not tell me that he had a lip tie. Um, but I'm so glad that you guys told me to get a second opinion because apparently it's really bad. So we're gonna come back in about a week. Okay, sorry, my camera stopped working because my memory card is full, so I had to delete some footage. But um, yeah, we're coming back in about a week to have both of them lasered because they specialize in doing that here. And apparently it's like a three week healing process. Um, they went over everything with me already, so I kind of like know what to expect. And they also um, gave me a recommendation for a lactation consultant. So I'm gonna reach out to her and get in contact with her. And the one that they referred to me apparently meets you here at the appointment. So the day of Grayson's appointment, she'll meet me here and then that way she'll make sure that he's latching correctly. Um, so the main reason why I want to get his tongue and lip tie revised is because of his latch. And I feel like he's never fully satisfied whenever he's done nursing. So hopefully this will help. And I also talked to him a little bit about Bailey too, um, because you guys know she was in speech therapy for about a year from age two to three and then she graduated. We recently, a few months ago, got her reevaluated and the speech therapist said that she doesn't qualify for it because she has an insane vocabulary and she talks a ton. That's not the issue. It's um, pronouncing certain syllables and certain words. And I am almost 100% positive that she has either a tongue or lip tie as well and I was just never aware of it at the time because this was like almost five years ago. So what he recommend I do for Bailey is have her seen again by a private speech therapist and the only way he will revise hers and laser hers if she needs it is if the speech therapist recommends that we have it done. So um, I may start the process with that and see what um, a speech therapist says and if they would recommend having Bailey's done. I'm sorry, he's starting to get fussy, so I'm gonna head out soon. But I just wanted to update you guys on that as well because um, I thought that was really interesting. I just got this stem gem in the mail and I'm so excited to try it. It's from um, William Sonoma. I'll link it down below for you guys, but I saw a blogger that I follow talk about this in her stories and she was using it and it looks so cool. So I'm gonna wash it really quick and then try it out and see how well it works. So my kids will not eat strawberries if they have the green stems on them. So, oh my God, that was so easy. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> and then this is the stem. It cuts it out like perfectly. I think this was like $5 too. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. You guys, why is this so cool? I love this. It's like satisfying too. I'm just putting them all in a bowl right here and I'll toss them. I want to be silly, baby, dance the night away. I'll kick my shoes up if I want. Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty. Okay, the verdict is everyone needs this in their life, in their kitchen. This thing is so cool. 
definite game changer and under 10 bucks so I will link it below for you guys okay it's quite a bit later now I was going through some of the comments on my last video you guys have been so helpful over the last couple days with Grayson so I definitely appreciate all the comments and all the feedback that I'm getting on all of my vlogs lately you guys are the best but a lot of you guys were saying that um, Grayson might have had an allergic reaction to something in my diet and that's why he has broken out in that rash all over his body. Um, and I definitely think he might have the same issue that Shay had when she was a newborn. I think she might, or I think he might be lactose intolerant and have a milk protein allergy like Shay did. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I switched over to um, a lactose free formula with her um, and since I'm exclusively breastfeeding Grayson I think I'm going to try and cut out dairy and see if his skin starts to clear up but I was doing some research and apparently it takes like two to three weeks for the cow's milk protein to leave your system so it's going to take quite a while for um, as to be able to figure out if that's what's causing the rash on his body and if he in fact has a milk protein allergy like Shay did. Um, so tomorrow's going to be the first day that I try that and see if I can stick to it. I'm hoping I can, but I consume so much dairy. That's probably like one of my major food groups. So it's going to be really difficult, but I'm definitely going to try. And I'm also going to take him in to get seen by his pediatrician because his next checkup isn't for another like two and a half weeks. So I want to bring him in so that his pediatrician can look at him and um, make a recommendation on what they think that I should do. Um, so I'm going to make that appointment tomorrow. Um, but I really think that he might have a milk protein allergy. So I'm going to just take that initiative upon myself to start eliminating dairy now. Um, and then I want to see if I can get him allergy tested. So um, I don't know the process on how they do that. Maybe you guys can help me um, and let me know like what to expect and how to go about doing that. But um, I think he has really sensitive skin like I do. And um, we've tried changing all of his detergents. Um, when we started using Dreft before he was born, I washed all of his clothes in Dreft. And then um, we brought a couple swaddles and like a few outfits in my diaper bag to the hospital when he was born. And the day that we wrapped him up in the swaddle, um, it was that copper swaddle, um, he started breaking out in a really bad rash and got the worst newborn rash. And I don't know if it was just a newborn rash just because he was new to the world or if it was because of the drift. So I had like a breakdown in the hospital just because I was like a postpartum mess um, and just got so sad and like felt so guilty that he was going to come home and all of his stuff was washed in something that didn't sit well with his skin. So on our way home from the hospital, um, Adam and I stopped at Target while I stayed in the car with um, Grayson and he ran in to get some new detergent and right now what we're using is 7th generation. I forget the exact name of it. I responded to a couple of you guys in the comments of my last video of the exact detergent that we're using, but it's by seventh generation and I came home and had to wash every single last bit of clothing that he owns in seventh generation. So I had to do his laundry twice, which is, is fine. But yeah, that's what we're using right now for his detergent. Um, his bath wash, I haven't really changed too much. I mean, I've used two things. And then a lot of you guys recommended the Tubby Todd, so um, we've been using that for almost three days now. But I haven't really been changing that many products with him. Um, but I definitely want to see what his pediatrician says and see if we can get him allergy tested. But in the meantime, I'm going to start eliminating dairy from my diet and see if that helps him. And I actually was not planning on vlogging at all today. I was just going to put up a video on Thursday and Friday instead of Wednesday and Friday because I have not been getting the best sleep the last couple nights. Grayson has been up a lot throughout the night so I've just been so exhausted and my eyes were like burning all day today and I actually took a nap. I woke up from a nap like an hour and a half ago. I slept when Grayson slept and it felt really good. I was just so exhausted but I just had no desire to pick up the camera today because I've just been so beyond tired. So I think I'm just going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for understanding. I know you do. I know I don't even have to explain myself, but I will update you guys on Grayson and everything going on with him in the next couple of vlogs. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Baby,
shoes off You don't have to hide it 